I'm News 10's Britt LaFasso. Four civil liberties groups are joining together to file a lawsuit against Louisiana's new law requiring the Ten Commandments to be posted in public schools. They say it's a violation of the First Amendment and religious freedom. Um, I'm Renee Ellis. Around about legislators, educators, and school kids, Governor Jeff Landry signed into law bills that he says will bring back common sense in our classroom. The bills include the Ten Commandment display and tax dollars to pay for a school of choice, including private school. The Opelousas Police Department is currently investigating a shooting on Kim Drive in Opelousas. The shooting happened Tuesday night. Witnesses say they heard the nearly 30 shots. A standoff with rain police ended with an arrest Wednesday. Deputies executed a search warrant and found the suspect in the attic. Albert Willis Jr. of St. Martinville's, uh, St. Martinville's, uh, his family is uh, still searching for answers three years after his disappearance and eventual discovery in December of 2022. Good morning, Acadiana. I'm News 10's Rodericka Taylor in Lafayette. A 93-year-old veteran reflects on the meaning of Juneteenth. Acadiana Eats this week brand new at Kirk Shanita Butcher on the north side of Lafayette. Don't forget the full edition of Acadiana Eats airs tonight at 5 p.m. Summer heat and humidity on this first day of summer. Go figure there. Temperatures right now mid 70s by the afternoon hitting 92. It'll feel like the hundreds with some partly cloudy skies and still looking at isolated showers and storms later on today.